All right, y'all. So another episode is in the books. So this is Power Season 5, Episode 2. And this was a pretty decent episode. The name of the episode is called Damage Control. And the key word here is control. Because when you watch this episode, this is spoiler heavy, by the way. But when you watch this episode, you can see that everybody is losing control in some way, shape, or form. Like, I really feel bad for Ghost in this episode because this man has a lot of shit on his plate. Like, he's he's still mourning the death of his daughter, but he really can't do it because of all the shit that he has going on. So it's like Ghost really never had a moment to really mourn, like to really like let out that ugly Mars Chestnut cry like in the Best Man Holiday. Like, to really, you know, he, he just hasn't had that chance yet. And so he's struggling with being in the legitimate world because he's dealing with your boy uh, Rashad Tate, who is a snake in the grass, always smiling, showing them pearly whites. But every time you look at him, you can see that sinister shit behind his eyes. The guy's a piece of shit, but this is supposed to be the, le the legitimate world here. So he's struggling with that and seeing all the corruption with the with politics and all that shit. And then now he's sucked back into the to the the criminal life because when your boy, um, the white guy, what's his name? The one that stepped to Tommy Ghost and Kane in, in, um, in the alley and was like, look, this whole thing got messed up. Tommy, you owe me $2 million. And okay, this is your boy Ghost. Okay, boom. You work for me now. And who's this guy, Kanan? Yeah, you in it too. So Ghost is like, fuck, man. Like like Godfather 3. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's going through some shit, man. It's amazing that, that he's just not a full-blown alcoholic yet because... That's just too much for somebody to deal with. And even his wife, Tasha, you know, Tasha, who I criticized in the last review about her performance. But this performance, I thought wasn't so bad. I mean, she really was convincing as a grieving mother who just lost a child. And she's having a hard time dealing with it because she really can't talk about it because of, you know, where they come from and who they are. So she really has no outlet to, like, release what she's feeling. And her and Ghost go to that that group, that um, that meeting where with other couples that have lost their loved ones, lost their child. And she so badly wants to, like, express herself, but she can't because of, of who they are. So it's only going to be only so long before she implodes or explodes and some shit pops off. So in this episode, it was like a lot of shit brewing. Like, it's, it's like something in a pressure cooker that's brewing and eventually it's going to explode because there are a lot of shit, a lot of seeds that have been planted and it's, it's going to come to a head soon. And even with Tommy and the Italians who... Tommy thought it was a good idea at first to get involved with the Italians. They're, they're cool with his pops. He thought it was all going to work out. But now he's in some shit because he got two of their, their people killed. And now he's kind of in trouble with them, even though your boy saved him from getting killed. But he was like, look, I'm not lying for you anymore. Like, this is it. So Tommy's in a bad space right now. So everybody's like in a fucked up place. And even uh, Dre, like Dre... Seemed like he was on top of the world. He's Scarface now. The world is yours. I'm I'm the man. Not so much because Diego humbles him every time. Wherever Dre's on a power trip and he thinks like, yeah, I'm unstoppable. But Diego always has that, nah, you still work for me, homie. And you do what I tell you to do. And even when he had him go in the bathroom with your girl and he came in there while he was doing it. And Dre kind of hurried and, and pulled out and, you know, left like, like, a, like somebody that just got violated. I thought the shit was kind of funny. And even within his own crew, like, he has a guy that works for him, uh, 2-Bit, who wants to be Dre's number two. And you can tell your boy don't like that, the, um, the Spanish guy that works with Dre. He doesn't like that. And he's trying to, uh, you know, I guess, um, take initiative, you know, show that, okay, I can't be a number two. Takes shit into his own hands, tries to pop one of the enemies, and Dre goes off on him. And it was a shocking moment because I thought this guy really respected Dre, but... He looks at Dre almost as like like an equal. Like, listen, it wasn't so long ago when me and you was on the same block doing the same shit. And Dre's like, first of all, I'm not your nigga, boy. You work for me. And I'm like, check him out. There was a saying that my mom used to say back in the day when I got to an age where I thought I was a man and I could step to her. And it was called smelling your own piss. Okay, where she would have to make me take a bath when I was smelling myself before she beat my ass. And that's that's what <laughs> that's what Dre kind of did to this boy. Like, well, that's what no, that's what he did do with that boy. But then you know, Dre he's smelling his own piss, and that's gonna come to a head. And I cannot wait for that because it's inevitable that Dre's gonna fall out with Two Bit, and Two Bit's gonna end up trying to do some shit to him, or it's gonna happen with Diego. I don't think um, I would love to see Tommy and Ghost get Dre, 
But I feel it's not going to go down that way. It's, it's going to come down to to one of them, 2-Bit or, or Diego, that's going to get Dre. Because right now, Dre is pretty much untouchable, but because of Diego. So, yeah, man. In this episode, everybody's like kind of lost control of shit. And mind you, I didn't mention a certain character because a lot of the shit that happened in this episode is because of a certain character. But I'm not going to give him the satisfaction because everybody hates him. I shouldn't waste no more breath on him, but I think you know who I'm talking about. And he sounds a little something like this. Raina's death is my fault, and everybody knows that, even you. Show me the game, ghost. <laughs> I know some of you are going to be like, stop picking on him, leave that kid alone, man. Fuck that, man. He, he needs to go. And Angela, I really didn't, you know, honestly, the whole shit with Angela and playing Inspector Gadget with the Donut crew, I, I could care less about that. I really wasn't paying attention to that shit. All I know is they're trying to investigate something, and they, the gold gun... And I guess they trace it back to Diego. So now Diego is like a prime suspect. So I'm pretty sure that's going to come to a head soon. But honestly, I don't really care about the whole Angela and the Donut Crew shit. Like, I, I could care less. I was, But I was really invested in the whole story with Ghost Tommy and Kanan. And speaking of Kanan, I'm going to wrap it up with this. Uh, Kanan, I, you know, he... This is season five, right? We all know he's a snake in the grass. He can't be trusted. But... It's cool to see him form an alliance with Tommy and Ghost, but then you see in this episode, he has his own agenda, he has his own thing that he wants to do, so he's going to use Tommy and Ghost to, to accomplish what he needs to accomplish, and then boom, he wants to be on the throne. And I feel like the season's probably going to end with that, with him and Ghost having another face-off, because once all the enemies are gone, like all the smoke is cleared, it's just going to be them too, and boom, how's this going to go down? Or might not be so much with Ghost, because Ghost really don't want to be in the game. Ghost don't want it, he don't want the crown, so it might come to Kanan and Tommy, because Ghost wants out but he is on a dark path right now where after what he did at the end of that episode i think he's i think this is not going to be the last time we're going to see him in vigilante mode i think he's going to be killing some more people and that's just going to be his way of coping with what happened to his daughter so i don't know man he might get sucked back into the game and be worse than he was before i don't know man i'm gonna keep watching i'm, I'm definitely excited to see where this shit goes so i thought it was another good episode um so far the season is solid two episodes in and I'm digging it. So what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, did I leave anything out? Um, did I leave anything out or whatever? Comment freely below. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.